Okay, once again, the darkness basically shows us the objects out there. Bing, bing, right there. Okay, here, here, and here, and layer. So, I mean, your eyes don't lie. You'll see what you'll see, and you maybe find stuff. So, um, maybe even something right behind the play button. Let's check it out. So, once again, I'm going to try to get up here, and we're going to end up seeing uh, stars again coming across real fast above the clouds, just above the clouds. It's going to be halfway through the movie. And that's just the light down below, the lights underneath the clouds, okay? That's just the city down below. Now, if you watch the timing on even those right there, you're going to know that they're not, because this here ticking here is just minutes. Okay, so nothing travels across the fa the, f the sky that flipping fast. Okay, as you saw that go by, and this is just minutes, folks. This, okay, and that stuff. I guess it was a little bit earlier than what I thought. So we'll find a little happy spot, and you've just seen a flash one there. And basically, there was another one. And we've seen this before. It's nothing new. I've showed you this stuff in the past. There's going to be more right there, there, there. Okay. It's just minutes. Just minutes. Now, there's only one that even could possibly be an airplane, and it really doesn't seem to be an airplane because it would have went right in the ocean. Okay? Because let's go back to that again. There'll be like one right about here or something that's big, and it comes up. And if it is an airplane, big deal. Because these other ones, like, like that flash there, and that one, and that, it's not flip an airplane. Okay? Those aren't airplanes. I don't know how to slow it down. The only thing I know is I can... Okay, now there's a flash. Okay? And there ain't no flipping way that within just like a minute and it, the, oh, the airplane or something breaks in half. You see what I'm saying, folks? It's light propagation from out in space and basically it's our super giants. Okay, because you see the clock, it's in the evening. Okay, it's not the sun. And this is just the city lights down below the clouds. Okay, so you got this stuff like this, and there's going to be some more. And I'll try to s see if I can play them here. And there was some more. And there's that. And that can't move across the sky that flipping much. But then I think we probably just, you watch the video and you'll see how many minutes. Because I'm just going to, and then, so a minute. And that stuff travels like that? No. Okay. And then that. Okay. And you got this here. Now we do know you see that stuff. Those long twizzly bars. You see that out when you go to Worldwide Telescope. There's all kinds of stuff like that out there. And i.e. the technology that's in the two si satellites that are electrically interlocked. It ends up being interlocking of stars out there somewhere in space. That stuff there. And so then why you got the clock down there and you can just and you'll be able to p play and freeze my video once you get it up there. And we just want to thank the Canadian and French telescope there with this beautiful shots that we keep getting because there you go. There's some light propagation again very fast. Just watch the ticker. I'm not going to dialogue in every click that I do to freeze these things. And there you go. There's another one. Okay. Space doing light strobe action on Earth, ladies and gentlemen. Light propagation. Check the volcano out right there. Okay? And we've seen what's been going on with the volcanoes all over the place with this light propagation and how they react. There are rare metals that are in there in those volcanoes, okay? They've blown up billions of years ago. And this stuff just keeps bleeding through. Truth, truth, truth. I remember that's just the lights of the city down there below the clouds. And you get times on this and you can match it up to Worldwide Telescope and you'll find all your space objects and then you can end up seeing a new space object. And as that one went across the sky, there's no damn airplane. I ain't saying that, but the idea of the minutes, it's just too short the minutes to be traveling that fast. Let's 
so or in or truth there I don't want to end up we'll just let it play through I'll see what we can get see if we can pull the 19th or something but all I know is when we get into the 20s of this month uh, very very cloudy you do see dark objects though they are worth watching because you'll see the dark planets in f between us and whatever because you'll see them And there you go with a nice orb in front of the sun there, because that is the sun, or suns. And you will get what we just saw at the end. We got the sun coming up, right? And then we got the sun coming up behind, you see? <laughs> Here comes the sun. You see what I'm saying, folks? And it's almost clipped out where you don't notice it and so forth and so on, okay? But there goes the baby sun, folks. It's a little bit more in front of the sun now, and a little bit later in the in the morning. And here comes the sun, folks, because that wasn't the sun before. Okay? Let's see what we can freeze here, okay? That's not the sun, okay? It's one of our suns. It's one of our stars in the supergiants. And you can see the fast rotation too. You see that fast rotation? Let's give you some more fast rotation action as it comes up. Check the clock. It comes up at 3 something to 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, now watch this fast rotation of this thing. Okay, I'm slowing it down just so the idea that you will see the rotation as it changes. You see that? See the rotation? You can see the rotation because you can see, you see that? You can see the rotation. Okay? And then here comes the sun. It's, it's the supergiants and the sun. Right behind it, here comes the sun. Okay, you see? So, very, very interesting. And also that little red orb there also. Right at the, right at the beginning. Here. Very interesting there. Okay? No matter what, there comes what we know to be the sun here, right there, okay? So yeah, more facts and truth with Pino Black. And as it gets to us closer, we get that rotation. So you can watch the rotation in real speed, just watching the clock and watching it, and you'll see that this rotation, and you'll go back and play back what I showed you on, you know, me just pausing it. And it's not just that cloud action. As you see, as it moves away, as it moves just to the final thing, you'll see how there's rotation because it's not just the clouds. And that does affect clouds, you see. It hits our coolness of our atmosphere, and then it gets those high clouds like that. Because there's the clouds, folks. That's the clouds that you see on Earth down there. And we're getting a second layer because this and other supergiants and stuff like that are burning our atmosphere and giving us other clouds. Mother Nature, the volcanoes, everything are protecting us, keep us cool. Because that's not the sun. You see it getting, you know, rotation or smallness as it's moving away. Okay? So, let's go back just a little bit. There it is coming up. And the clouds. And then it creates more clouds. Because it's hot. Then we get two layers of clouds. And yes, we know that we've always had somewhat more than one layer of clouds. Talk to a pilot. They're probably not going to talk to you. They don't want to get their face on TV. Okay? So, there goes our little baby sun, and then here comes or suns. So there could be maybe more than one in there because it's so bright. And then, here comes the sun. They almost clipped it out so you couldn't see the sun coming up, but here comes the sun. Okay? Some more facts. So show your friends. Blow their little stockies off. And I think within the next year, is everybody's going to be like, yeah, there's way more than one sun. So. There you go. 
and as it did too, I'm gonna, you're going to see what we I see on the planes here. That the idea that you see that burst right there, it's them, you know, rising and setting. It's all of a sudden, the super giants. As you're going to see, I'm going to be able to get a big. See that big flare here? See that big flare? Here? And also, there's a video that some gal has got that almost looks like it, and it might be a massive solar flare off the sun that she caught up in Michigan. Let me see if I can find that. Now let me under make one thing clear. Just bumped into it. Basically, she's a new subscriber and love her feet because now don't get me wrong. Anybody can believe what they want to leave. I believe that this gal has got some really good factual footage because basically this is what you got. A wax and give you some moon. Not only not only 91.87%, but since we got super giant action going on and very brightness out there as you watch all my videos, there's always astounding this and astounding that. Okay. And this is more of hard facts for you because basically I'm going to take you to a video right now, okay? And basically you should be seeing somewhat, you know, it'd be close to full, but it's sure pretty right because all the super giants action, okay? So let's see what she's got as it clears. That was pretty fast because I don't know if there, I think she goes back on it and she actually rewinds it for you, brings it back up. Or whatever. That's what she's got. Okay. So not much waxing on it on the fifth. Okay. Not much waxing at all. She's got a lot of shaky movement, but so more proof, in fact, of the super giant's brightness right now. Because in a second, I think I can pause it and show you that the moon is pretty much tree clears those. And there you go. With clearing those tree branches. Even that tree, that beginning of the next little tree branch right there, even shows you the idea that the only waxing there was is maybe barely just a little bit down there. Your eyes can tell you whatever your eyes want to tell you, but there's a nice live shot for February 5th. Smart gal, it's either her brother or her plays basketball. Check that out. Someone's got a brain. All right, good healthy exercise. That's why I think she's really credible no matter what, because you're going to see this right here, which she's saying is CME, but no matter what. It's something in space or something out there with the sun, okay, or some kind of effect of these higher clouds that we are seeing being made in Hawaii. Because you watch this here, this part right here of this to the sun, it's not like these other clouds, okay. And if it's a chemtrail, then that's the only other thing it could be. But the idea, if you watch it live, and basically we go up over here too, and basically, I guess that's her too. Okay, but this is cool. So check this out. And I'm trying to think of the sun dog, yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say to tell people too now. That if you have probably, if you remember seeing a sun dog in the past, basically more than likely what that sun dog was that we were seeing was a CME and we didn't know it. Because nobody was able to sit there and go, well, it's a sun, it's a CME. It's a coronal mass ejection because we didn't learn it until we got Soho up there, okay? And as you can see, folks, see, it's following it and with the sun. So right down here on Earth, folks, some gal or somebody caught, and yes, don't worry about that. This is, is basically glare, that there, okay? That's glare. But as you can see, that there, and then we are getting high cloud action. Now, see, I'll go to what she says on all this video, and you can see as the sun I believe is setting in this picture yeah it's setting okay and you get it and in our atmosphere it creates cloud plume because it's so flipping hot can you imagine if one of these CMEs turns around and comes towards earth ladies and gentlemen we are going to have electrical problems like you would not believe okay we already got CMEs coming at us but not directly okay so hopefully we have just been hiding out in a little hole for years and years and years because the earth I seem to be like a rabbit hiding out in a hole, gopher or whatever, okay? Because no matter what, we are in a great position that we stay away from a lot of these CMEs, folks. So this is a great video from down on earth. So we will go ahead and see as she's driving down the road. There you go. And like, what the hell? And then... Like